Imagine a time before Earth, before our Sun, even before our galaxy existed. Billions of years ago, there was only a vast cold cloud of gas and dust. This cloud, a nebula, held the seeds of our solar system. Our story begins with a spark. A nearby supernova sent shockwaves, causing the nebula to collapse. Immense pressure ignited nuclear fusion, giving birth to our Sun. The material around our newborn star began a new chapter. With the sun blazing at the center of the newly formed solar system, a maelstrom of activity ensued. The remaining gas and dust, remnants of the original nebula, swirled around the young star. This material, composed of microscopic particles to larger grains of rock and ice, became the building blocks of planets. Through a process called accretion, these particles began to clump together. Imagine a cosmic snowball effect. As particles collided, they stuck together, gradually growing larger. Over millions of years, these clumps grew into planetesimals, the precursors to planets. The early solar system was a chaotic shooting gallery, with planetesimals constantly colliding, merging, and reshaping the cosmic landscape. As these planetesimals grew larger, their gravitational pull increased, attracting even more material and accelerating their growth. In the inner solar system, where temperatures were hotter, rocky planetesimals dominated, eventually forming Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Further out, beyond the frost line, icy planetesimals coalesced to form the gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The early Earth was a far cry from the life-sustaining planet we know today. Imagine a fiery hellscape, a molten ball of rock constantly bombarded by asteroids and comets. The energy from these impacts, combined with the heat generated by radioactive decay within Earth's interior, kept the planet in a molten state. As Earth cooled slightly, heavier elements like iron and nickel sank towards the center, forming the planet's core. Lighter elements, such as silicon and oxygen, rose to the surface, creating a primitive crust. This process of differentiation was crucial in shaping Earth's internal structure and creating the conditions necessary for life. Volcanoes erupted across the surface, spewing molten lava and gases into the atmosphere. These eruptions released trapped gases from Earth's interior, gradually forming a primitive atmosphere composed mainly of nitrogen, carbon dioxide, and water vapor. This early atmosphere, however, lacked free oxygen and would have been toxic to life as we know it. One of the most dramatic events in Earth's early history was the formation of the Moon. While there are various theories, the most widely accepted explanation is the giant impact hypothesis. This theory suggests that a Mars-sized object named Theia collided with the young Earth in a cataclysmic event. The impact sent shockwaves through the solar system, ejecting vast amounts of debris into space. Some of this debris coalesced in orbit around Earth, eventually forming our Moon, the impact also had a profound effect on Earth, tilting its axis and setting the stage for our planet's seasons. The formation of the Moon had far-reaching consequences for life on Earth. The Moon's gravitational pull stabilizes Earth's axial tilt, preventing drastic climate swings. It also creates tides, which play a crucial role in shaping coastal ecosystems. Without the Moon, our planet would be a very different place. Section 5. Cooling Down – The Formation of Oceans and Continents As the bombardment of asteroids and comets subsided, Earth began to cool. Temperatures dropped, allowing the molten surface to solidify and form the first permanent crust. Water vapor, released from volcanic eruptions and delivered by comets, began to condense in the atmosphere. Torrential rains lashed the planet's surface, forming the first oceans. These early oceans were likely acidic and hot, but they set the stage for the emergence of life. As Earth continued to cool, lighter continental crust began to form, rising above the denser oceanic crust. The formation of continents was a gradual and dynamic process. Volcanic activity and tectonic forces constantly reshaped Earth's surface, creating mountains, valleys, and vast ocean basins. These geological processes, driven by heat from Earth's interior, continue to this day, shaping the landscapes we see around us. How Water Shaped Our Planet 
Water is often called the universal solvent. Its presence has shaped the planet's surface and the chemistry of life. Rainwater dissolves minerals from rocks, enriching the oceans. Water acts as a medium for organic molecules, forming life's building blocks. The water cycle circulates water, moderates temperatures, and shapes weather. Without water, our planet would be lifeless. Section 7, From Rocks to Life, The First Signs of Life The precise details of how life arose from non-living matter remain one of science's most intriguing mysteries. However, we know that the early Earth, with its abundance of water, dissolved minerals and energy sources, provided a fertile ground for life to take hold. Somewhere in those primordial oceans, or perhaps in volcanic hot springs, the first self-replicating molecules emerged, marking a pivotal transition from chemistry to biology. These early life forms were likely simple, single-celled organisms, resembling bacteria or archaea. They thrived in the absence of oxygen, relying on chemosynthesis, or perhaps a primitive form of photosynthesis to harness energy. Over billions of years, these early life forms evolved and diversified, gradually transforming the planet. The emergence of life had a profound impact on Earth's atmosphere. Through photosynthesis, early organisms began releasing oxygen as a byproduct. This gradually transformed the atmosphere, paving the way for the evolution of oxygen-breathing organisms and the complex web of life we see today. Section 8. A Delicate Balance the Evolution of Earth's Atmosphere The evolution of Earth's atmosphere is a testament to the interplay of geology, biology, and time. From the initial toxic shroud of volcanic gases to the oxygen-rich air we breathe today, our atmosphere has undergone a remarkable transformation. The early atmosphere, devoid of free oxygen, couldn't have supported life as we know it. However, the emergence of photosynthetic organisms, releasing oxygen as a byproduct, gradually changed that. Over billions of years, oxygen levels rose, eventually leading to the formation of the ozone layer, which shields us from harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun. This delicate balance of gases in our atmosphere is essential for life. The atmosphere traps heat from the sun, regulating Earth's temperature and making it habitable. It also protects us from incoming meteoroids, most of which burn up before they can reach the surface. Our atmosphere is a precious resource, and understanding its history and dynamics is crucial for our continued survival. Section 9. Earth's Ever-Changing Surface The Dance of the Continents While we often think of Earth as a static sphere, its surface is in constant motion, albeit on a time scale far grander than human experience. The continents we see today, once locked together in a supercontinent called Pangaea, have drifted across the globe over millions of years, driven by the slow churn of Earth's mantle. This process, known as plate tectonics, is responsible for the formation of mountains, ocean basins, and earthquakes. As plates collide, they buckle, fold, and uplift, creating towering mountain ranges like the Himalayas. Where plates diverge, magma rises from the mantle, forming new crust and pushing the continents apart. This ongoing dance of the continents has shaped Earth's surface, influencing ocean currents, climate patterns, and the evolution of life itself. The breakup and collision of continents have created opportunities for species to evolve in isolation, leading to the incredible biodiversity we see today. Section 10. Reflections on a Blue Planet, Our Place in the Cosmos From a swirling cloud of gas and dust to the vibrant, life-sustaining planet we call home, Earth's story is one of cosmic evolution, shaped by chance encounters and governed by the laws of physics. As we've explored the processes that led to Earth's formation, from the violence of the early solar system to the gradual emergence of life, it's humbling to recognize our planet's precarious existence. We live on a small, fragile world, orbiting a star in a vast and ancient universe. Understanding the forces that shaped our planet gives us a deeper appreciation for the preciousness of life and the importance of protecting our pale blue dot. The journey to understand our planet's past is far from over. New discoveries and technological advancements continue to refine our understanding of Earth's history and its place in the cosmos. 
As we delve deeper into the mysteries of our planet's formation, we gain a profound appreciation for the interconnectedness of all things and the delicate balance that makes life on Earth possible. Section 11. Keep exploring. The journey continues. Our exploration of Earth's formation is just the beginning of a much grander story. The story of life itself. How did life arise from non-living matter? How did it evolve from simple, single-celled organisms to the complex diversity we see today? These are just a few of the questions that continue to drive scientific inquiry. In the next installment of our cosmic journey, we'll delve into the fascinating world of early life on Earth. We'll explore the origins of life, the evolution of photosynthesis, and the rise of complex organisms. Join us as we uncover the remarkable story of life's journey from those primordial oceans to the present day. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more explorations of the cosmos. And be sure to let us know in the comments what other cosmic mysteries you'd like us to unravel.